What's going on everybody, new Silver Stacker here, and thank you so much for tuning in to a new video. Guys, today we're going to talk about why you should be buying silver right now. Uh, we're also going to take a look at a few different pieces that you can look into buying for a decent deal online. And talk about a few other things. Okay guys, so first off, right now, uh, let's check out the price of silver. According to SD Bullion, it is $18.95. So, as we all know, it has gone down quite a bit uh, in the last little while, which is great. It's awesome, you know. Um, for those of you who are new to stacking and are very concerned and telling yourself, oh, I just bought a bunch of silver and gold, or I just bought a bunch of silver, the price went down, what do I do? Should I sell? Well, the quick answer is no. You should definitely 100% not sell your silver just because it is going down you got to remember i'm not going to go too much into detail of this um but you got to remember that silver it's a slow long steady investment uh so i wouldn't even call it an investment you just got to think of it as like a long-term savings account what 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 the price is today does not matter the only only reason it does matter is because it means you can buy some more for cheap so um, I'm 100% bullish on silver, on all precious metals, no matter what the price is. So anyways, um, let's check it out. So not too long ago, silver was at $23, $24, $22. Now it's all the way down to $18, almost $19. And will it go down under 18? Who, who knows? Nobody knows. No one has a clue. I don't care how much of an expert you are. We don't know. Um, but it's very possible, but it's also very possible that it will not go below $18 and it's very possible that it might just go up in a week or two, maybe a few months, maybe next year. It might just go up and never go back down, but you know, who knows? I have no idea. I'm not an expert at all, at all by any means. And even an expert, like I said, couldn't tell you if it's going to go up or down. So, so let's check out some silver coins and see uh, what my recommendations are now take my recommendations with a grain of salt or whatever the phrase is um, these are just some ones that i i didn't look around too much i just looked around on a couple sites and these are what i am looking at buying right now so let's let's take a look at them no random order sorry i haven't learned how to uh or i know how to do it I know how, or how to screen record my screen and then edit into the video. I'm just I'm just a little bit too lazy and a little bit too busy to be honest. So we'll just check it out on the iPad. This works perfect. Okay, so right here is the 2022 Britannia. Um, now I didn't actually pull up the other years. I'm not too sure if the other years are cheaper or not because I know I know that's the case with some other coins. But anyway, so it says as low as 23.95. Now. Uh, t to be real, most of us are going to be buying one to 100. Um, so expect to pay about $24 and 95 cents. Um, I would definitely pay by check or wire because if you pay with a card, you're paying a full dollar more. And you know, with prices this low, you want to get the best deal you can. Now here's what, <clears throat> here's what really sucks. So, um, some of you may know about, uh, the Asahi mint. Now, Asahi had, they have this really cool, beautiful design, and it's, it, unfortunately, it's out of stock now. It's, it ran out of stock this weekend, I think, um, but uh, last weekend, they were, they must have been doing a sell, and I didn't realize it was a sell, because I told myself, I was like, wow, if it's that cheap, I'm buying a tube of it. They had them for $22 for any quantity, so $22 any quantity. And the Asahi is the only generic I truly love. It's the only one I like. I'm not a generic guy, but generics definitely have their place. They're very cheap, give you a lot of weight for, for a lot less money. But there's a few reasons why I don't like them. I mean, I like them, but I just don't really buy them. But anyways, Asahi's favorite generic, unfortunately, um, that was only like a weekend sell. And I, I looked today to see if it was going on again for this, for last weekend, or I looked a few days ago. And unfortunately, they're out of stock, which makes sense because they were really, really cheap and they're a beautiful round. So anyways, so um, a really good one I'd recommend is the British Britannia. It's a beautiful coin. Everyone knows it. Uh, easy to get rid of if you need to. And just look how beautiful they are. 
Anyways, $24.95, not the best price coins. You can definitely get some generics for cheaper than that. So let's see, let's see what generics we got right now. So let's see, so you can also get random coins. And by the way, that was on Hero Bullion, by the way. Not sponsored, unfortunately. Maybe one day, but... Okay, here's a generic right here. Oh, that's Sunshine, so we won't really count that. Um, here is a Buffalo round uh, by Random Mint, so it could be any mint. For $23.14, it actually is $24.04. But you can even get them for $23 if you buy more than $25. Um, the Aztec round is $23.94. Not bad at all. And that's for 1 to 19. So if you're in to go with a generic, it seems like the Aztec would be awesome. I also think there's like a Don't Tread on Me round. Um, for the same exact price. I think that was on Hero Bullion, but I wouldn't doubt if it's the same deal on SD Bullion. So let's see what else we can find. You got the Tree of Life coin, which is also a really cool one that I wouldn't mind getting. Um, so it is a coin. I don't know who... Oh, uh, let's see. So this is Niue. That's a good-looking Niue coin. Uh, and they'll start $25, so that's not the greatest price that, that we've got out here. Um, here's the Aztec 2354. Buffaloes from a random mint, you can get them for $24 if you buy only 1 to 19, or you can get them for $23.74 um, for a quantity of 20 plus. So that's not bad at all. These are really cool. I wouldn't mind getting one of these, but they're just $164. Jeez. Um, but, anyways, so okay, let's see what else we got. Um, okay, here is the Kruger Rand. Let me refresh this, make sure the price is good. Okay. So it says as low as twenty three, but re and, but really it's gonna be uh, twenty four dollars and thirty eight cents unless you buy more than twenty five twenty three ninety eight. Um, so these you can easily get under twenty four dollars, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm really starting to like Krugerrands. I'm honestly debating on buying a full tube of these. I might do, I might wait to see if I can get a better deal than this. I know this is pretty decent, um, especially if you buy more than twenty five. Uh, but you know. Might as well see if we can find another deal. Okay, next up. Now, like I said, these are 24. Britannia, 24. Um, things such as... Uh, I think maple leaves are probably like 26 or something like that. I'm not too sure. Yeah, maple leaves are 26.94 for 1 to 24. So, yeah. Those premiums are still going up. Still high. But then let's go to the Eagle. $29.79. So obviously, this is the most expensive coin as far as premiums go that we're showing all day today. Now, there's a reason why I brought this eagle up. Now, a few weeks ago, so keep in mind, this is $29.79 for any quantity. So anyways, the one thing I'm honestly debating on as well is buying a tube of eagles. Now, a lot of you are going to be saying, don't get them too high of a premium you can buy Britannia's for $24 or Kruger Rand's for $23. Um, and I understand that. I understand that the premium is still high on this. This is this is more than a $10, $11, $12 premium on this. And this is one of the better prices I've seen on, on Eagles. Uh, maybe there's a better price on another website. I don't know. If so, let me know down below. But um, uh, I'm debating on getting one of these because a few months ago when I, when there was eagles for like 35 40 bucks, I told myself, I was like, you know what? If I could get eagles under $30, I'd be buying the crap out of them. And look what we got here. Now, like I said, I understand the premium's high, but I'm wondering if it would be worth it to buy a tube of these or maybe even just buy like 10 of them, um, spend $290, buy 10 of them, and get them while they're cheap. Now, like I've said, silver might go cheaper, Right? premiums might eventually drop i don't know who knows no one knows but they also could go up meaning this might be this 29 dollars right here might be the lowest price for eagles we see again or maybe in a long time i don't know it also could go down like i said but who knows but that's kind of how i'm thinking about it. i'm like okay this might be the cheapest way i could get an eagle and i do like eagles they're not my most favorite but for $29, like I said, I told myself, if I can get them for under $30, I'd buy them. And here they are. Still a high premium. But silver is on sale, reducing the price of silver in general, making them $29. So that's kind of how I'm looking at it. Now, uh, I know a lot of you guys are saying, like, oh, it's still high premium. 
why do that when you can get it uh, Britannia for $24, $5 cheaper? Well, I probably will do that. I probably will get like some Krugerrands to help, you know, lower my dollar cost average. But at the same time, I'm like, you know, what if we never see eagles for this price again? You know what I mean? What if, what if, what if this is the last time we see them for under $30? I don't know. I have no idea. I have no clue. No one does. But it's, it's kind of like a speculative uh, thing, I guess. I guess you could say. But um, I don't know. I might do it. What do you guys think? Are you guys buying eagles right now? Um, if not, what are you guys buying? Are you guys thinking about buying eagles for under $30? Let me know, because I'm actually truly curious, uh, because Eagles for under 35 bucks, under $30, I mean, I, I like it. I like that. I understand all the other coins and rounds are, every single one besides like maybe a Libertad, they're all cheaper, I get it, and I could get a much better deal per ounce on my silver, um, but I kind of want to stock up on some Eagles, just in case it's the last time I'm able to for, for such a low price. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'm thinking about doing it. I am debating on getting a tube of coins. Not quite sure what I'm getting yet. I wanted to get a tube of maples, but those are pretty high premium. But to be honest, if I'm willing to spend this much for an ounce of silver, I can spend the, you know, I can, I can afford the, uh, the extra couple dollars for a maple. They're still ch way cheaper than uh, eagles for, for the maple. Um, but then I'm also debating on getting a Kruger end. Britannia's I love, but I don't know if I want a tube of, tube of them right now. Let's just go ahead and see what else they have in stock. Maybe let's go on SD Bullion real quick. So let's see what they've got in stock on silver. Let me know what you guys are buying, though. Uh, here is a 10-ounce Sunshine Mint for uh, $239. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, you got random coin designs. Uh, you got the Kangaroos for $24.54. Not bad. Not the best we've seen today, but not bad. Um, but I'll, I definitely want a tube of something. I want to buy my first tube. I don't know what, though. So it looks like, from what I'm seeing, Hero Bullion's got the better price between SD Bullion and Hero Bullion. So here, here's the Tread on Me rounds. Let's see. So these are a really good deal as well. $23.43 for a quantity of 1+. plus. If you're buying more than 100, you get them for $22.73, which is really cool. So if you're stacking for weight... And you like Hero Bullion, this might be the way to go. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to promote them, you know what I mean. Um, but, the, but they are good. I like, I like Hero Bullion, so, you know, whatever. Uh, Philharmonics, let's just let's see how much Philharmonics are. Uh, ooh, okay, look at that. One flat price, $23.17. I don't think I have a Philharmonic anymore, but I wouldn't mind a tube of them. I don't know. That's not bad at all. You know, what I'm thinking is maybe I buy a tube, half Eagles half of uh, these and then it'll bring my dollar cost average to about what i don't know 25 26 27 i don't know i'm not good with that kind of stuff but uh better than it was a month ago you know what i mean so and then 90 percent walking liberty halves 20 20 dollars per dollar face uh, it is actually, let's see, $21.29. So, I don't know. What are you guys buying right now? Are you buying junk, constitutional? Are you buying rounds? Are you buying coins? If so, which ones are you buying? Is there a certain coin or round you're focusing on? Will you be buying eagles? Are you buying maple leaves? And what do you think about the Kruger end? And the price of that? It's not bad at all. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. Um, definitely buy some silver today. Not today, you know. Buy some silver when you can um, because the prices are just so good right now. $18.88. Um, you can't, you know, after the last year or two, you can't beat that. This silver's on sale. Don't panic sell. If anything, keep buying. Don't worry. Ride it out. You'll be okay. Um, but that's it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, everyone, have a great day. Oh, and by the way, shout out to the coin guy for being a member. You're awesome, man. I appreciate you. Okay, guys. See you later.